Hello everybody, this is Martin Rumors from MI5. MI5 stands for Millionaire in 5 Years or Less. That's my motto and my brand. Welcome to my channel. First off, before I even get started, I just want to tell you guys, if you guys are looking for a Neo Echo Chamber channel, then you came to the wrong place. Now what does that mean? I'm not here to deliver just positive news about any stock. I don't care if it's Neo, XBang, CCIV, whatever. I'm going to show you the good and the bad. And this is my actual own personal Robinhood portfolio. And I'm going to show you my gains as well as my losses. Because I'm honest and I want to show you guys what's good and what's bad. And learn from the mistakes I've made. And you can do a better job on your own portfolio and your personal investing. Alright, with that said, let's get on to the video. So, my last video I made, it was how I lost... 13k in neo and now it's gotten even worse i'm at to the point where my total return i'm negative fifteen thousand seven hundred and sixty five dollars and this is just on neo and this is just on robin hood i have a lot of other stocks i've made over 200k two hundred thousand dollars on neo the first time i sold so i'm not bashing neo by any means it's made me a lot of money but I wish I did not buy back into it, and I wish I did not buy in at 62.45 average cost. All right, so let's go back and take a look here. Let's see, for the day we're we wound up at 51.94. Low end for the day was about 48.24. For the week, this is where I wound up being negative 22,000 dollars. On my Neo, Neo stock, we're at about forty-one seventy. That was February twenty-third, which is just a day ago. Let's go to the month, and you can see it's about fifty-nine sixty-one here, and that was a real low point of time there. So we got down to 41, what did I say, 41.74. And that goes real close back to December 14th territory, which is 40.98. And we got 41.98 there. So somewhere around there, it's taking a step, multiple steps backwards and has not really performed very well from. Let's see. Okay, so from about November 10th to just February 23rd is literally about the same. We're at 41.55. The other one was 41.74, I believe we just looked at. And that was several months later. So... Is Neo really growing? Is it really developing? We don't know. Every good news they seem to give about it, it does not reflect in the price. The price has not gone up substantially in a long time. It's become very stagnant. The roaring boil has come to kind of a simmer. And is Neo done? I don't think so. I think it has a lot of long term potential still. I think, um,. I don't really like giving hard solid numbers like this, but I think by the end of 2021, we could probably reach $100 per share on NEO. I really, I really believe that. And is NEO a buy right now? Currently, let's go at 51.94. Possibly, if you guys want to wait a long time for any kind of return, then fine. If you're not in a hurry to make money. I, on the other hand, I'm in a big hurry. I want to get as much money as I can in a very short period of time, and that's what my channel is all about, how to become a millionaire in five years or less for you guys. It took me three years to hit my million-dollar net worth, and I'm going to help you guys get it done in five years or less. So if you guys are not interested in being a millionaire, then you're probably on the wrong channel. I can help you at least make six figures. Um... I didn't make all my money just through buying stocks and sure as heck didn't make it just only buying NEO stock. 
I've done a lot of other stuff such as drop shipping, affiliate marketing, and several other streams that I've done in the past to be able to achieve what I have now. Now the stock market is just part of it and it's probably my favorite part currently. But if I had started off in the stock market in the very beginning, I would not have become a millionaire because I didn't have enough money to put behind it. So I hope that makes sense. People talk about dividend stocks and it, that's, that's not the best way to get rich fast. It's just really not. But um, like I said, we'll go back one year, see what Neil was at. Like I said, it, if you guys had gotten in down here, that would have been a tremendous time to get in. But it's kind of, it seems like it's kind of stagnating, stagnating a little bit now. Five year, yeah, see, you can see here. The first time I heard about Neo stock, it was my first free stock when I signed up for Robinhood. It's about $1.70. I wish I had bought. At the time, though, I didn't have the money to do it. I could have put a hundred k in there and had a dollar seventy cost average would have been absolutely amazing. But obviously that didn't happen because I was still working in grocery, only making like a little over fourteen dollars an hour. I didn't have enough money to put in there to do that. But like they say, hindsight is always twenty twenty, right? So don't look back in the past. Don't worry about what you could have or should have done. Could have, would have, should have. Um, just focus on what you can do now. So if you want to get in a NEO, maybe wait for another dip. See if you can get it back into the 48 range, maybe 47. I'm not sure how low it might go again. If you can get in there and hold on till the end of the year, then you'll probably make a pretty good return. So that's it for this particular video. I hope you guys liked it. Um, like I said, it's not an anti-NEO channel because I, I hold NEO. See right there. And I've made two hundred thousand dollars with Neil, but I am getting impatient. It is becoming stagnant. It is a simmer now, and it's kind of annoying that it's going back to pre-December times as far as its uh, stock price. So we'll see. See if we can get some uh, good news here and get that price pumping up. And let me know in the comment section below if you guys are invested in Neo, how much you have invested how much you plan to invest or how much you've made or how much you've lost so make sure you comment like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one